ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. And I'm Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista, and this is K-Check. The smartest game show on television is now in its home stretch. Welcome everyone to day four of the K-Check semi-final round. There is one more spot left in our grand finals and today, we'll find out who gets it. Our weekly winners are back para sumagot ng mga tanong na magdadala sa kanila sa ating grand finals at the end of this week. At sa araw na yon, isa lang ang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Pero hindi lang ang weekly winners ang sasabak sa araw na ito. Joining them will be our wild cards na pinili mula sa mga runners-up ng bawat weekly competition. And of course, kasama din namin kayong lahat na imbitadong makisagot sa mga tanong na haharapin ng ating mga contestants. Let's meet our four contestants sa dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Celine is a graduating BS Electronics Engineering student of UP Diliman. A proud Batanggenya, she was the only woman in her weekly finals and today, she is a proud semi-finalist too. Dias was once an engineering student who is now a performance major in theater. But it was his performance in week number five of our, of our competition that earned him his semi-final spot. Nard is a third-year business math education student part-time math tutor, Korean language enthusiast, and now a K-Check semi-finalist. And finally, we have Tamara, a BA creative writing student who wrote her ticket to the semi-finals nung hindi niya halos pinasagot ang kanyang mga contestants o kalaban nung dailies. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First, we have Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters of UP Diliman. We also have Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics also at UP Diliman. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! <music> The English Channel separates England from the northern part of what country? The correct answer is France. Dias, in math, what is the product of 25 and 8? 200. Okay, check. Nard, what do the first two letters in Calabarzon stand for? Cavite. Okay, check. Tamara, in what continent can you find the Alps? Mountain range. Asia. Malay. Europe. Celine. In math, what is one half the sum of 13 and 33? 23. Okay, check. Dias, Alabang is a large barangay in what metro Manila city? Muntinlupa. Okay, check. Nard, Vienna is the capital of which country? Austria. Okay, check. Tamara, in math, what is 75% of 8? Six. Okay, check. Celine, on what island can you find the province of Antique? Bicol. Malay. Panay. Dias, what sovereign city state of the French Riviera is famous for casinos? Bayou. Malay. Monaco. Nard, in math, what is the fraction 5 over 20 in lowest terms? One fourth. Okay, check. Tamara, Hulo is the capital of which province? Correct answer is Sulu. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramian round. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramian round. Points recap muna tayo. Nauna, sa round ito si Nard with 30 points. Kasunod si Dias with 20 points. And Tai, sa third place, si Celine and Tamara with 10 points each. And of course, it's just the first round and we're all waiting. 
kung sino ba ang magiging finalist, ang last finalist natin for the grand finals. Ngayon, ready ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan round? Next, here on K-Check! ng ating karunungan check. Mag-points recap muna tayo. Nauna si Nard with 30 points, kasunod si Dias with 20 points, Celine and Tamara both have 10 points each. And of course, it's too early to tell kung sino nga ang magiging last finalist natin for the grand finals round here on K-Check. Yes, no? Diba? Pero ngayon, gusto ko lang tanongin, na-curious naman ako, itong si Nard, who is our leading finalist for round one, Bakit ka naman na interest sa Korean language? Ah, matagal na po akong interested talaga sa Korean culture. And nung mga before high school, or mga high school pa lang, nag-start po ako mag-learn ng Korean. Pero hindi po siya naging tuloy-tuloy. Pero ngayong college po, nakapag-start po ulit ako. And ngayon nagtitake na po ako ng um, mga, mga introductory pa lang po na Korean courses. But hopefully magtuloy-tuloy po siya. What about Korean cooking? Um, Korean cooking, since hindi po ako masyadong nag-explore pa ng food, so mga limited pa lang po yung alam ko sa cooking. May may, ano pa siya? may, may time ka pa, di ba? Time pa. <laughs> <laughs> Prof. Marian, may mga katanungan ka ba sa mga sadyante natin? Parang bigla din ako, dali. So parang gusto kong tanungin yung ating from electrical, electronic engineering. So, bihira ba ang mga babae sa electronics engineering or madami na din? Um, marami po. Yung bihira po ay sa electrical pero sa electronics, uh, siguro equal lang yung population ng mga babae at lalaki. Din. Oh, interesting. At pogi naman ba ang mga kaklase mo? <laughs> I don't want to incriminate myself. <laughs> <laughs> Safe answer. Very good. Matalino. So, ito talaga yung gusto mo mula bata ka, or at least high Hindi school. Hindi po. Nag-method of elimination lang ako. Basta gusto ko po mag-engineering, tapos elimination. Ay, ayoko nito, ayoko nito. O, sige, ito yung natira. Ayan. Oh, wow. Magandang klase yung pag eliminate yan. At sana ay mag, ano ka, Ikaw ay mag-prosper dyan oh. sa field na pinili mo. Good Parang luck. warning sa ating kabataan, that might not always be the best way to make a decision. Pero parang ganun din ang ginawa ko eh. Kung saan ako mahina, ay gusto ko ito. <laughs> but in any case, we're now going into the K-Check Pabilisan round. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points, pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, Pag-isipan ng mabuti muna bago i-press ang buzzer. Let's begin! Born in 2003, which young Swedish environment activist founded the movement NARD? Greta Thunberg. Which young Swedish environment activist founded the movement Fridays for a Future when she was only 15 years old, Greta Thunberg, Kate. In which popular Jane Austen movie adaptation did Kira Knightley star as Elizabeth Bennet? Tamara? Little Women? Ano? Meron bang hahabol? The correct answer is Pride and Prejudice. Question number three. What is the local nymph that has the same name as the first satellite built and designed by Filipinos? Nard. Maya. Mali. Um, Duwata. <laughs> Kitchen. Question number four. Coming from the Latin term for small key, what is the anatomical name for the collarbone? The anatomical name for the collarbone is the clavicle. Which billionaire fired half of Twitter's 7,000... 
Dias. Elon Musk. Elon Musk, K check. Question number six. Which town in Cebu is known for the Sad Sadayan Festival as well as for whale shark watching? The correct answer is Oslo. Question number seven. First coming to power in 1996, Benjamin Netanyahu is the longest serving prime minister of what country? The correct answer is Israel. Question number eight. Carrie is the title of the first novel of which famous author? Tamara. Stephen King? Okay, check. Stephen King is the correct answer. Question number nine. Which mineral composed of calcium magnesium carbonate is usually used in saltwater aquariums to help buffer changes in the pH of the water, but can also substitute for sand in local beaches? Tamara? Dolomite? Very popular dolomite, k -check. Question number 10. What 2001 DreamWorks film earned the first ever Academy Award? Tamara. Shrek. k -check. Question number 11. Which former leader of Myanmar was sentenced to three years in jail for electoral fraud last September, adding to the 17 years in prison that she was already handed. Nard. Ang Song Suu Kyi. Ang San Suu Kyi is the correct answer. K check. Last question. Benny Blanco, BTS, and Snoop Dogg pulled their talents into what song that made it to the top 10 in the Billboard charts in 2022? Bad decisions is the correct answer. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Let's recap the points muna, Torni. Mm -hmm. Tamara has 80 points, Nard has 60 points, Dias has 40 points, and Celine has 10 points. Nakul! Fast yung ano, no? mga pagsagot ng kanina, bam! Pero bam. hindi pa natin talaga malalaman. It's too early to tell kung sino ang mananalo sa ating... Contest for the day. Correct. No? Let's ask Prof. Glet. Si tingin mo sino'y makakapasok sa kanila? May nakifeel ka bang energies? Ang Microphone. Ang nararam naman ko, mananalo yung pinakamalakas ang loob sa pagsagot. Mm. Yan. Ang... May question ka ba sa kanila? Oo. Oh, oh, meron akong question sana kay Dias. Oh, kasi Dias, mukhang nasa pareho tayong field, nasa theater din ako. At kanina, pinagchichismisan na namin na meron ka nga nung gravitas. Alam mo yun sa performance kasi yung pag nakita mo yung isang performer, yung may weight on stage. No? Sa, pwede pa natin i-develop. Meron ka bang ano, dream role na gustong gawin in the future? Uh... Joker po or Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Pero Listen again po, tulad din po nung nasabi ko noon, any role po gusto ko ring magampanan. I want to explore uh, as much as possible po. Yes. Si Elastic Man kaya. Uh, pwede. Ah, pwede. No, pwede. maganda 'yon. Pero maganda 'yon. Yes. Why so serious? Oh, pero maganda ang attitude 'yon kasi sa atin, 'di ba, walang maliit na role. Mm pagka nasa Tama. performance. Good luck to you. Thank you, Paul. Si Prof. Neil, gusto natin yung ipasample din yan ba? Ano ba? Yes. Uh, anong dream role mo, Prof. Neil, if ever man may opportunity ka makumarte sa, sa stage? Uh, gusto kong maging Joker, di? Joker. <laughs> Nangopia ng sagot. Joker si Prof. Neil, Nang no? Nangopia ng sagot. Hindi, <laughs> pinag-uusapan natin yung dream role. Gusto kong magtanong kay Tamara. Kung mabibigyan ka ng publication grant, ano ang yung dream dream creative writing project? Well, uh, I don't know. Either novel or comic book specifically talaga because yun yung talagang gusto ko talagang gawin dati pa talaga. 
but mahirap talaga ako sa long form writing. Puro short pa lang ginagawa ko this time. Okay, yung isa ring tanong, ano yung topic kaya? Oh, topic. I don't know. Usually, yung mga nagiging topic kasi nang gawa ko, a lot of it, puro like, Uh, queerness, identity stuff, then mga ibang interest ko naman, like yung isang interest ko nga, sa, sabi ko ang comics, interest ko rin mga superhero stuff in general. So like gusto ko para may intersection ng mga bagay-bagay, especially since walang masyadong, at least compared sa, ano, sa mga ibang bagay, sa comics talaga, ngayon pa lang talaga dumadating yung mga queer elements within comics. Very promising. Good luck. Okay. Interesting talaga ang mga contestants natin. And this time, Our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! Ang standing ng mga contestants natin, si creative writer Tamara has 80 points, Korean language lover Nard has 60 points, the Joker Dias has 40, and our electronic specialist Celine has 10. Oh, mga kahabol pa ito contestants natin. Kasi may time pa, di ba? Oh, it's too early to tell kung sino ang susunod nating finalist sa ating grand finals. Correct. At ngayon, nandito na tayo sa ating K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sanawin na ito sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang huling papasok sa K-Check Grand Finals. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin. Question number one, magagaling kay Prof. Glessy. Maraming salamat. O, usapang history at sining. Okay? O, who composed the Katipunan Revolutionary Song, Marangal na Dalit ng Katagalugan? Ang sagot ay si Julio Nakpil. Ito yung uh, pinagawa ni Andres Bonifacio sa kanya para sa katipunan. Maraming salamat. Prof. Neil, second question. Trivia lang. Si Julio Nakpil ang asawa ni Rigo, pangalawang asawa ni Rigoria de Jesus na asawa ni Andres Bonifacio. Controversial. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ito yung tanong ko. Ano ang deklarasyon ng Grand Britannia na nangakong magtatatag ng Jewish homeland sa Israel? Ipinangalan ito sa isang British diplomat na si Arthur Balfour. Ang tamang sagot ay Balfour Declaration. Thank you. Question number three from Prof. Marian. Okay. Science. Science. Noble gases are the chemical elements in group 18 of the periodic table. They were called rare gases also because they were believed to be rare. <laughs> But um, they're actually relatively abundant, some of them. Now, my question is, What is the rarest noble gas? Nar? Oganeson. Sino? Okay, um, noble gases, uh, masasab masabi ko lang, are tasteless, natikman mo na ba, odorless, colorless, um, with very low chemical reactivity under standard condition. So, ang example to ay mga helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, which are naturally occurring, and organeson, which is synthetically produced. But the rarest of them all, rarest, not, not fairest, is xenon. Okay, check! Thank you so much. 
But how do you know they're there, Prof. Maria? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Prof. Glessy, okay. next question. Maraming salamat. O, usapang mitologia. Philippine mythology. Okay. The Aswang Project recently published a translation of the book, Dictionario Mitologica de Filipinas, o yung Dictionary of Philippine Mythology. Who is the author of this reference material on Philippine mythology? Ang tamang sagot ay si Ferdinand Blumentritt kaibigan ni Jose Rizal. Yes. Maraming salamat po. Yung susunod na tanong ay manggagaling mula sa kontinente kung saan nakaugat si Blumentritt. So ito yung tanong. Which title provided the highest prestige among medieval Catholic monarchs considered by the Roman Catholic Church Considered by the Roman Catholic Church as the only successor of the Roman Empire monarchs. Ang tamang sagot ay Holy Roman Emperor. Thank you so much. Okay. Prof. Marian. Sana po may makasagot ulit. In food industry, hydrogen is added to oil to make it more solid or spreadable. This process converts liquid oils to semi-solid or plastic fats for special use like margarine and lard and improves the stability of oil. How do you call this process? Hydrogenation. Okay, so since the, the, the hint was there, hydrogen is added to oil. So, hydrogenation, Kate. Thank you so much. No? Uh, mukhang tumapantay na si Tamara kay Nard, no? Pero pwede pang humabol ang iba pa nating contestants. This is the second to the last question from Ma'am Desi. Okay, go ahead. So, usapang uh, awit at saka kasaysayan. Okay. May isang awit, no? yung mabuhay ay langit sa sariling bayan, kung ang sambayanan ay may kalayaan. This has been aptly used to yearning for kalayaan, which has been the target of social movements since the olden times. The song has been inspired by numerous multi-sectoral mass actions since the 70s and has thus been named after this well-known site. What is the name of this well-known junction in the University Belt in Manila? Ang sagot ay Mendiola at ang awit ay komposisyon ng national artist Bienvenido Lumbera. Thank you so much. Prof. Neil, next question. Yeah. Um, name the international Islamic terrorist group ISIS. Name the international Islamic terrorist group rooted from a group of Mujahideens formed in the early 1980s to fight the Soviet invaders in Afghanistan. Itinatag ni Osama bin Laden. Ang tamang sagot ay Al-Qaeda. Thank you. Prof. Marian, baka ito na. Ito na. Uh. <laughs> Uy ah, in fairness again, na, hindi mo sagot tanong nyo. Parang contest na sino masasagot, di ba? <laughs> okay, ito. Kayang-kaya. Dapat. Sana. Storm surge okay, is an abnormal rise of water generated by a storm. How do you call an ocean wave triggered by large earthquakes? Celine. Okay, so uh, triggered by large earthquakes that occur near or under the ocean, volcanic or eruptions, and submarine landslides. 
um, ang tidal wave ay actually is a shallow water wave. Okay? And triggered siya by yung mga movement ng moon and the earth and so on. So, the, the, the wave triggered by large earthquakes will be called, are called tsunamis. Okay, check. Thank you. Last three questions, no? Uh, Tamara has 80 points, Nard has 75, Dias 40, Celine 40, no? So, pwedeng-pwede pang pwede humabol pa. ang mga contestants natin, no? So, wala pang kasiguruhan si Tamara. Natalas, masagot niya itong mga to. Go ahead, Prof. Glessy. Okay, usapang uh, awitin. Okay. She was a well-known singer and has earned the title the Nightingale of the Sarsuela. She is considered to be the first Filipino recording artist. Who is she? Ang sagot natin ay si Maria Carpena. Sa kanya yung awit na ang Maya. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question. Ano ang binago sa 1935 Constitution na naging isa sa mga tampok na provision ng Bell Trade Act o Philippine Trade Act noong 1946? Dahil lumaya na tayo sa mga Amerikano noong 1946, hindi na sila citizens ng bansang ito. So itong amendment na to ipinasa para bigyan sila ng equal rights to exploit our natural resources and to engage in businesses related to public utilities. Okay, ang tamang sagot ay parity amendment. Maraming salamat. Huling katanungan sa round na ito, Prof. Marian. Huling katanungan. Okay. Um, we use sometimes uh, devices to protect our electronic devices against identity theft or yung mga RFID. And we put this in bags para hindi siya maswipe or something, right? So, what do you call an enclosure used to block electronic magnetic fields? Parang alam mo dapat eh, no? <laughs> na Nandiyan. pressure si Celine. <laughs> na, na, na pressure na naman. Um, this enclosure is formed by um, several layers or mesh of conductive materials. Um, automobiles actually and airplanes act like these devices also kasi pinoprotect yung passengers from, for example, lightning, right? These devices um, were named after the inventor Michael Faraday and they're called Faraday Cage or Shield. Okay. Thank you so much, Prof. Marian. And that ends our third round, the K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Tamara, our last contestant, to get a spot in the grand finals with 80 points. She will receive power bands from TVUP and we'll see Tamara again tomorrow for the first ever K-Check Grand Finals. Thanks to Celine, Dias, and Nard for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessie, Professor Neil, and Professor Maria. This is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And I am Janelle Abor. Join us again tomorrow for the grand finals of... Keychecks!